Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Adam back here and today I have another video. This time it is update number 35. So I know I haven't made an update video in like four months and I'm sorry about that. I just haven't had much to explain really. And um, first off, the first thing I want to address is I am getting through your guys' trade for figures thing on the second page actually, which is second out of, I just have this and this. And unfortunately, I do need to wait for some more clones to come in, but I still do have some left, so I can work on those. Um, but yeah, right now I'm working on um, Christian Asketa's stuff. Uh, season 6 Wolf Pack Troopers made out of the First Order. I'm going to have to modify these pretty heavily. They're going to be using Clone Wars Clone Trooper uh, t bodies instead, but the First Order helmet will um, be a pretty good fit to the one scene in season six um it's, it's the closest thing by far um i don't feel like sculpting six helmets so <laughs> yeah but um so that should be pretty interesting um i did just finish a couple figures sorry for the shadows um i finished bo katan literally if it will focus come on <laughs> literally about half an hour ago i just finished her let me try and get this to focus. There we go. Yeah, so that's Bo-Katan. Probably won't be posting a review on any of these because I don't know. There's not much point, but I finished those six and Bo-Katan today. I finished um, those ten plus the Keeley Troopers and those two yesterday. So pretty good progress, and I finished the other four back there a while ago, like two days, three days ago. And then I have these clones, which I'm all going to be customizing. I need like another 60 clones, and I have like 20 more coming in the mail, so should be covered for now. Um, one thing I might run into problems with is running out of uh, Clone Army Customs helmets, since I know this is a lot, but it can get drained pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, hopefully I find a way to address that issue. But um, I've also been applying more decals to AVXTC figures. If you follow me on Instagram, I uh, let me see here if I can get to focus. I uh, have been applying his decals to some Aerialite helmets. There's Apo. Um, so that's what started of him. Got my figure bin right there. Um, I decaled this Shock Trooper. And then he, I got a, I got one from somebody who bought it from him who decaled it, so it's pretty nice. And then we have, of course, if you guys didn't know, I passed 100 CAC figures. Again, you should follow my Instagram, link in the description if you do not uh, know about any of this, because you get a lot more updates on there. So, yeah, um, 101 CAC figures, that is crazy. And yeah, it's just it's just absolutely insane. It's a hundred and one. Um, I, so I'll definitely be doing a video on those pretty soon. Um, that'll be cool. And then we got some of my other customs here. We got first order executioner, Captain Cardinal, Iden Versio, which I probably will be making other side of Inferno Squad pretty soon. I already showed those. Old, kind of oldish Phasma <laughs> that failed pretty hard, and then this figure, which I'm saving, which I'm saving for someone right now. But um, let me put these back, and let's move over. So I did get a bunch. I got a couple more things, uh, a couple more battle packs. Um, then for Christmas, which I forgot to mention before, but um, I got the battle on Scarif. And then I bought another Kylo Ren TIE silencer before Christmas off of eBay because it was like $40 and it was complete. So that's what that is in that box. Then I have the Jakku transport pod, the Rebels Phantom, which is something I've been wanting for a long time. Then with the Battle on Scarif and the Rogue One Y-Wing, I complete the entire Rogue One wave. I unintentionally got every single set. <laughs> and then we have a sealed TIE silencer right there. So that's pretty cool, and I also got um, a Michael's gift card, which comes in handy. Um, and then 
I do believe down here, I have, if you did not see on Instagram, I got a San Diego Comic-Con Vixen minifigure. It goes for around 100 bucks. Got her for around 75 um, And then I got um, Darth Revan sealed polybag today. And if you haven't seen my polybag collection, it's pretty, pretty uh, interesting. I have, so I have Darth Revan now, the Sergeant, Han Solo, uh, the May the 4th uh, First Order, the Millennium Falcon, which I got from Toronto Bricks, random Ninjago one, uh, First Force Awakens, C-3PO, and the Darth Maul. So that's pretty nice. Um, put those back, and then I got the decals right here, that's where I keep them. Um, from ABXTC Designs, and those are some eBay capes I have to go out. Um, yeah, I mean, I have like 200 uncut capes in here, so if anybody wants them, um, yeah, they're on my eBay. But I got this new paint too that works super well. Um, this is actually a steel color, I just have to shake it. There we go, steel color. Very nice, it's a uh, Model Master, and uh, you can see an example of it on Boba Fett's weathering on his helmet, which is another figure that I haven't done a showcase of. Um, if you want to see a sh showcase on him, or Arc Alpha 17, or the Keeley Troopers and Keeley, um, let me know, uh, I'll be happy to do that. Although I might wait with Keeley, I'm definitely gonna be making the Jedi Master after I finish all these trade for figures things. So that'll be pretty cool, and maybe I'll do it then. Um, but yeah, so there's not much else. I got my iPad right there. Um, I believe, I think that's it actually. I have pretty much just same old, same old back here. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give a like, support the troops. Um, Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.